What's going on, riders? It's Paul, another Rider Home Review with a special guest here, my friend Chaz Carrillo. Hey. And we just watched uh, The Dark Tower, starring Idris Elba, Matthew McConaughey, I can't remember the director's name, you know, the Stephen King story. Um, so basically it was, uh, um, it was uh, an adaptation of the Stephen King eight book series all in one movie. So first I'll start with Chaz. Chaz, what did you uh, what did you think? What did you like about the movie? So I like uh, I like the actors that are in it in uh, the other movies that they're in. Um, <laughs> and I like that it was only an hour and 40 minutes ish. Um, uh, there were some explosions that were nice. Um, I, it's really that's that's most of it, I think. <laughs> I think I think he's onto something there. I mean, this is a a movie that I've actually read the stories before seeing, and I enjoyed the stories, and was wondering how they would do that, and they didn't. They missed completely, except for maybe the gunslinger. They had him and the man in black. They had him. I think that was and Jake Chambers. That was about it, really. Yeah, um, it's, it's a little disappointing. It, it was, uh, I thought it was, hmm, let's see, what did I like about the, the film? Uh, yeah, I think this was one of the worst movies I saw this year. Um, and uh, the things that I didn't like the most was it was very, for a story that was so complex in its original, originality, um, it was very cliched. It was very, I don't know what, what you would, what you would say about it really. Um, it was just the execution. I mean, Matthew McConaughey did make a really good bad guy. Let's, he is. He's a great bad guy, but they didn't give him any good bad guy lines. No, I felt like they just had him walking around a lot yeah. looking, looking tough. Yeah. And the, the end scene was very anticlimactic. Um, it was just, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really know what to say. This adaptation was just really, it really missed the mark. Um, and I know the fact of the matter is, I mean, like I mentioned before, it's an eight book series and these books aren't short, except maybe the very first one, which I didn't know how they could possibly make a movie out of the very first one, if you ever read The Gunslinger. But, um, but yeah, it was just one of those things where, um, I mean, the story just wasn't there. They just didn't adapt it well. Um, and this was uh, an epic failure of monumental proportions. It really was, but Matthew McConaughey still, uh, st he's a still a good actor. He just Some people make bad decisions. Um, I do feel like they should have, we should have the undo button and they should try this again. Like, you know, like really try. Because uh, it didn't seem like they, they put a lot of effort to it. I feel like they bought the title and then threw the main characters in something that was supposed to kind of look like that. It did, there was a, there was a Dark Tower. So that was a, that there was, was also, that. yeah, it was also yeah, it a was part that. of, uh, part of the movie that they got right. Okay. That might be the only part besides the characters' names that Paul mentioned earlier. Yeah, and uh, you know, and Idris Elba is another one of my favorites. I think he does really good work. I do think he gets cast in some pretty poor movies sometimes, but but yeah, it feels like they were under contractual obligations for this movie. It kind of felt like oh, they got kind of stuck. But also, I noticed that Ron Ron Howard produced it, and now he was stuck to this. Uh, project a long time ago in which it was supposed to be a multimedia thing and I think that's the best way to do this series they can't wrap it up in less than a two-hour film so there you have it didn't really care for it nothing to watch for skip this movie Chaz anything you'd like to plug before uh, we leave yes uh, instead watch uh, the wire where um, where stringer is a great character uh, <laughs> played by um, I always say his name wrong elders Idris Elba Idris Elba I always say Eldris Eba. Anyway, um, great. Uh, watch that. It's, I think it might be available on Netflix or Amazon Prime. Do that instead because that's a great, a great series. And there you have it. This is this week's Ride Home Review. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. See you next week.